Hello and welcome back to this video on Git and GitHub. Let's now cover what are milestones. So milestones are a way for you to track your progress and list your goals you want to achieve in your project. So let's say in your project you want to achieve a certain set of features. So those can be then listed and broken down into milestones so that it is easier to understand what are the exact steps you need to take in order to achieve those goals. So milestones is a general term and milestones is also a feature present in GitHub and we will also see what are the milestones for the MAD1 and MAD2 project. So milestones are in general a way for you to track your progress of all the features that you have completed in your project. So you or uh, anyone in your team can create milestones. So the team is applicable if it's a team project. For MAD1 and MAD2 it's a single project. So you can create your milestones and list out what are the features and functionalities you want to achieve by the end of the project. Then it can be assigned to issues. So you can create smaller issues in each milestone to exactly pinpoint what are the features you have to complete to complete the milestone. Milestones can then be closed by closing each issue one by one when they are completed. So for the MAD1 and MAD2 project, there are a fixed set of milestones which we will be covering later. And these milestones are decided for each problem statement at the beginning of the term. So the milestones are created for each phase of the project. So for the core requirements, there are a certain milestones. For the recommended requirements, there are certain milestones. And for optional, there are some milestones. So in the code, there may be some milestones such as creating of the models, creating of the views and the controllers, the routes, etc. You can also mark a milestone as completed inside the GitHub repository by pushing certain commits. So for your MAD1 and MAD2 project, your milestones of your project will be tracked using your GitHub commits. So as and when you are done with one milestone, we expect you to make a commit and, and that commit should have certain text which will make us understand which milestones you have completed till now. So for your MAD1 and MAD2 project, these may be a few of the milestones that may be present. So things like user model setup and login sign-in, the creation of templates, the creation of the models inside the models.py file, and then creation of the controllers, etc. You can also have the recommended features such as the APIs and the validation, and also the optional ones such as styling and bootstrap and the login with framework. Similarly for MAD2 also, you will have milestones for each of the features required in your problem statement. So as you can see, I have opened a repository and uh, the contents of the repository are not important. But let's say I want to create a few milestones for this repository. So first we have to go into the issues tab and here you can find a milestones. So at first for you this will have zero because you will not have any milestones. So here you can create a milestone by clicking the new milestones button. So as you can see, I've already have one milestones here, milestone here which has been 100% completed. So let us see how we can add another. So let's say I want to create a new milestone with the title of week two, or maybe for your case, it may be add the models to the models.py. So let me stick with week two for now. And you can also optionally have a due date for the milestone. So let's say I want to be done with this by fourth and I create a milestone. So once a milestone has been created, uh, you also have to add issues to it so that you can track how much of the work has been completed. So let's say for the week two, so this is obviously a notes repository. So let's say for week two, I need to create notes for each of the contents of the week two. So let us see how we can create an issue now. So inside the milestone, I can click on create an issue and this will automatically create an issue in that milestone. So let's say I, I want to create three issues for the three topics covered in week two. So I will simply list them out. And I can also add a description here and I can submit a new issue. So now the issue is created and you can see the issue number as we saw earlier. So you can then click on here again and add other issues. So one issue is created. I can create another issue and let's say I set the name of the issue and I can again come here and create the third issue. So let's say there are three topics in week two or similarly for your case it may be there are three things you have to do to add a few models to the models.py. So it may be one issue is adding the user model, another issue is adding the products or some other model and another may be the categories. So once you've added the issues to your milestones, we can then start working on it. So let's say you have worked on some piece of code and then that fixes one of the issues. So let's say you have added the requirements for this issue. So what you can do is as we saw earlier you can make a commit which references the 
hash 7 in the commit message itself and we can say fixes hash 7 and it will auto close it or you can also just make a commit and then come here and close the issue so that will mark that this issue has been closed so now if you go to that milestone you can see it says 33 percent completed because out of the three issues we have closed one of the issues so that is how you can create and close issues to remember the milestones so what's next next we will see what are collaborators and how we can add uh, collaborators to your github repository so you should not add any other user to your project as it is a solo project but you will have to add the cs2003p account which will let us monitor your progress in your project so we will see that how to do that next